Wabanzi Valley did it again. The 5-4 Warriors were ranked 31st out of 32 8 8 playoff teams, but that didn't stop them from beating second-seeded Hinsdale Central 33-23 in the opening round. If that sounds familiar, well it is. Wabanzi as a 30th seed beat third-ranked Edwardsville in the opening round last year on its way to a state semifinal run. Last year being the 30th seed and then playing the, uh, the three seed, um, it wasn't really anything new to us. We knew that we were a good team. Our record doesn't really show the, the amount of work that we put in this season. Um, you know, playing in DVC, you play nine playoff games um, every week, so that really prepared us having the, you know, the toughest conference in the state. The tough schedule coupled with its playoff experience gives Wabonzi Valley a lot of confidence. We had 16 starters back from last year's team. So they were through last year's journey to the semifinals. You know, and so the challenge is, can you do it as good or better than last year's group? The 2016 group has embraced its coach's challenge and has big playoff goals. We look forward to leaving a legacy as the team last year did with Max Irie and Jack Conley. All are, they are all good, spectacular players, but we're trying to leave the 2016 season with at least saying we got to the Final Four. If not, trying to go and win that state title. The next hurdle in this playoff journey is 8-2 and two and 18th seeded Lincoln Way East. They're going to be ready. I think they've made the playoffs every year in the school's existence because Lonard does a great job with that program and uh, it's going to be a battle. It's going to be fun. An experienced group shining in the underdog role. For NSW, I'm Kamenenchev.